Well, new on 7 now, an update from the FBI, the department cracking down on drugs on our streets. We go live now to anchor Sasha Leninger. And Sasha, this is part of the Fed's work on violent gangs. Uh, yeah, it is, Ron and Darlene. So early this morning, the FBI, along with several other agencies, conducting search warrants in the South Valley. And we are told today's operation is connected to a major bust from back in September. As the sun rises, law enforcement busy in this South Valley neighborhood near Coors and Arenal. This is not the only location, though, that we were searching today. We take the individuals that are doing the wrong things where they need to go. You can see agents search cars on a property. In all, three men and two women arrested. We do this because we want to make sure we're taking the things that are really going against our streets and our individuals and our children, which is the guns and the drugs. We need to get them off the streets. More than a million fentanyl pills, 142 pounds of meth, $1.8 million in cash, 37 guns, six cars, nine bulletproof vests, and two hand grenades. We're not ever going to feel overwhelmed. We're just going to keep doing what we're doing. 22 confidential informants involved with three gangs told the FBI about a Sorreño gang member, Jesse Young, and a murder he committed. The FBI says Young, at the time, was the largest drug dealer in Albuquerque. Young was arrested along with four others after agents conducted 16 search warrants. Now, the FBI says that search warrant that details what had happened today and how it's connected to that operation back in September will be unsealed sometime today. As soon as we get that, we will share those details with you. Live at FBI, FBI headquarters, I'm Sasha Leninger, KOAT Action 7 News. Back to you. Sash, thank you. The FBI is urging people with any information about crimes like these to let them know. And you can share your tips online at tips.fbi.gov or you can call 1-800-CALL-FBI.